This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 75. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith Yahweh, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your guide, and the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, saith Yahweh, power of hosts. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Middlestone. Salutation to you, Akin, pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice. We who are ready to live, solution. All right. And the main point of that scripture is, you know, um, be not afraid and, 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 um, and neither doubt, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah said he's going to do something, he's going to do that, man. You know, scripture says, curse be man that trusts in man and make it flesh in his arm, man. You know, these people in the world, they have more faith that they're going to get a paycheck uh, uh, the, the, the next, whenever they pay their years, than having faith in, your, in, in the most high, man. Okay? They have more faith in carnal things, you know? And as scripture says, we have no confidence in the flesh, but you have to have faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahshah is dealing with you, man. All right? We have to we have to have faith that Yahweh Bashim Yahshah is dealing with us, man. And I say all that to say this in truth to to really doubt to doubt your to doubt to doubt yourself is to doubt Yahweh Bashim Yahshah. Okay. All right. To doubt yourself. It's a doubt, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. Because what did David say, man? Oh, let me get it. This is Psalms 44 and 6. For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my... <clears throat> Salaki. <clears throat> Salaki. Uh, let me read up. This is uh, Psalms 44. Um, and... I started one the, to the chief musician for the son of Kor. Uh, to the chief musician for the son of Kor, Meshiel, we have heard. Oh, wait. So, yeah, this wasn't even, this wasn't David that wrote that. So, excuse me. Uh, yeah, to the chief musician for the sons of Kor, Meshiel, we have heard with our ears, O Yahweh, our fathers have told us that or what work thou didst in their days in the times of old. How thou didst drive out the heathen with thy hand and plantest them. How thou didst afflict the people and cast them out. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their own arm save them, right? Yeah, that's why I said that, man. Curse be the man that trusts in man and make flesh his arm. But thy right hand and thine arm and the light of thine countenance, because thou hast a favor unto them. Thou art my king, O Yahweh, command deliverance for Jacob, right? Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under that rise up against us. For I would not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies and hast put them to shame that hated us. You know, and throughout the history, man, you know, what it says? Um, um, right, this is 2nd uh, Ezra's, uh, I mean, it's lucky. This is Psalms 105 and... Um, 13, when they went from one nation to another, from one kingdom to another people, he suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sakes, saying, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Right? So, yeah, he reproved kings for us. Man, matter of fact, there's one more I want to get. And we have this history, we have these tokens uh, to uh, look back at. You know, we have these tokens to look back at. Uh, this is uh, Second Ezra um, one and nine. How long shall I forbear them un into 
unto whom I have done so much good. Many kings have I destroyed for their sakes. Pharaoh with his servants and all his power have I smitten down. All the nations have I destroyed before them, and in the east have I scattered the people of two provinces, even Tyre and Sidon, and have slain all their enemies. All right. So, yeah, man, and history shows that. You know, Yahweh Shemir Asha is our defender, man. As the scripture says, who is a rock like unto our power, man? All right. <laughs> uh, it says, what nation have uh, the most high so nigh unto them? All right. So the doubt that Yahweh, so the doubt ourselves is the doubt Yahweh Shemir Asha. Now, the balance is, of course, we don't have confidence in the flesh. We know there's nothing we could do. As the scripture says, oh, thou, thou worm Jacob, you know, you know, worms a defenseless uh, creature, you know, but <laughs> the, that, 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 but we understand that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh could turn that worm into a super worm, man. All right. A super worm that could destroy the entire planet, given the, the, the power, uh, spiritual power on high, on high man, you know, <laughs> That defenseless creature uh, can turn around and, and, and um, run through a troop. All right, if you how Bashim Yasha so so wishes it to be. So if we understand that we know that you know, all right, because we you know we're not trusting in our own own, own power, man. You know we're trusting in the power of Yahweh Bashim Yasha. Uh, matter of fact, let me grab this one particular scripture. Right. This is uh <clears throat> this is Philippians four and thirteen. I can do all things through Hamashiach, which strengthens me, right? All right, and scriptures talk about how we're gonna mount up with wings as eagles, man. It says that he he that's feeble among you in that day shall be as David, man. All right, so it's not, you know, we're not we don't trust in ourselves, but uh, but we're not gonna doubt what the Lord can could could uh could do with us man because look at what he did with esau edom and he's the basis of men all right esau edom it was the basis of men but what did he do man he 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 gave him the power to basically basically crush the entire world man you go into that history in uh first maccabees about alexander the great man you know uh it's another uh uh you know when it goes into you read the book of Daniel when it talks about that um, that rough goat, man. It said his feet didn't touch the ground. We basically uh, is, is, is metaphorical of how fast he was conquering shit, man. You know, the Lord made him a weapon, man. And Yahweh Bashmi Ashash, he said, I'm going to make the creature the weapon uh, for the destruction of his enemies, roughly paraphrasing. So, and what says, thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, man. For with thee will I uh, break in pieces the nations, man. All right. So our confidence isn't so much in ourselves, but we're not going to have a lack of confidence in what Yahweh Shemi Arashah can do us because we are tools in his hand. All right. Esau is a tool. That's why scripture says, uh, shall the axe boast itself against him that he would therewith? All right, we don't have confidence in the tool. We have confidence in he who wields it, so to speak, you know. All right. And we have confidence in the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Somebody finna get them spiritual powers, man. All right, and if we're in this truth and, you know, you know, we're enduring to the end, man, we're on the right track to uh, to receive that protection on high. Scripture says, Yahweh Bashim, it says when the enemy come in as a flood, Yahweh Bashim Yahshah is going to lift up a standard against him, man. All right? You know, he says he's going to uh, flee. He's going to make them flee seven ways, man. So, hey, man, we have confident faith in that, man. Uh, uh, let me get one more scripture. I'll probably end it on that note. All right? So, you know, we're not talking about what we could do. Well, this ain't no tough guy shit. All right. right. I believe that's it. Let me see. Uh, right. right. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, there it is. Right, this is Second Corinthians ten. I'm gonna start it. Uh, let me see. Uh, right. Right, I'll just read 17. That's just the point. Right. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 10 and 17. But he that glorieth, let him glory in Yahweh. Right. There's another one. Let me see. Uh, that he understands. Yeah, there it is. Um. Uh, Yeah, Jeremiah 9, and let me see where I'm going to start it. Uh, right, this is Jeremiah 9 and 23. Thus saith Yahweh, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am Yahweh, which ex exercises loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith Yahweh. All right. Okay. All right. So, yeah, you know, that's what we're going to make our boast in, and that's what we're going to glory in, man. All right. While Esau gl glories and boasts in his weapons, we're boasting in Yahweh by Shemir Shai, man. Okay. But, you know, I say all that to say this. You don't want to doubt yourself. Or in, in the fact that Yahweh Bashmi Asha is dealing with you, man. You know, because that's letting, pretty much you're letting your sins weigh you down at that point. You know, you, 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 and then at that point, you're limiting the Lord, right? Because that's what our people, that's a mistake our people did in the wilderness, man. They limited the Lord, man. They said, can Yahweh Bashmi Asha uh, furnish a table in the wilderness, man? They limited him. They, they they said he can't do this and can't do that. And we got a lot of niggas that claim to be Israelites that are pushing doubt. We're not to do that. All right? We're pushing faith over here, man, you know? But, yeah, that's pretty much what I got. Um, hope there's some edification within it. And uh, shalom.